Tough week, especially early in the week. With, uh, what's happened the last couple of weeks? What did you think the way the group responded after a couple of weeks of the I feel like we responded as best as we could. You know, being losing what, three games in a row is tough, like mentally as a team. But I think that we uh, we battled well, like mentally, and just coming in knowing like how important this game is and how much like value this game has. And I think everybody just did their part and that's all we could ask everybody to do. What was the mood like on the sideline though when it was down when you guys were down 14 zip? And even your head coach said it seemed like a repeat of previous games last week. Mm -hmm. I felt like we weren't we didn't get shaken up by that. Okay. I feel like we all stayed pretty calm and just like we know what we gotta do, we know what we can do, we know what we're capable of. And we, I feel like we just came out and bounce back, you know what I'm saying? So I think we just did as best as we could and uh, that was the result. You know? What did you see out of Tanner, especially on some of those the third downs if you guys were able to convert the second half, stay on the field and maybe very least foot field position for the defense? I feel like he's just a dog. I'm just you know, he's he's such a great player. He can run it, throw it, and I feel like that's his just being a dual threat is so like valuable, definitely in the game of football it's so you can, it makes it hard on the defense like we have a running quarterback. You gotta guard the whole field and still guard him. And I feel like since he brings that aspect to the game, it's just hard to guard and when he had to use his feet, he used it and obviously it wasn't good. I feel like that just shows how like much he cares about this team, how much he cares about the game. And like his mentality is just yeah, he's my locker mate, and I was just, man, I didn't know if he was going to play either. I was like, how you feeling? He was like, I mean, it's hurting, but I'm going to go out there, and I was just like, man, that's, that's a leader. Vinny, you've gotten a lot more playing time the past couple of weeks. What do you think that you've shown the coaching staff to get you this extra opportunity here? I think I've just been consistent. You know what I'm saying? I, I, uh, I bring speed to the field. That's what, they, that's what they like about me. So I think just being consistent and continuing to work and putting the work every day, just try to make it little mistakes as possible, that's just what allowed me to be on the field. There were so many expectations for this group coming into the season. Did you sense that not meeting those expectations was starting to weigh either players or the coaching staff? I feel like it played a little effect just because it's like we expected to do great things, but it's hard. Like first year, we got a new, a whole new concept to this compared to like the last program. And I think that is just we had to stay calm. We, had, we couldn't get too shaken up by just because we're losing games. It doesn't mean we're just like complete trash. You know I feel like we just had to stay calm and I feel like we're starting to build and play comp complimentary uh, football. And I think that's that's good. Because you know this next game is a, it's a big one. So that's what we got to come prepare for. Yeah. So there's with, with those, with the puck return, kickoffs, and also you know, offense, just I really just, in my head, I just, I, every, for every play, I do a quick prayer to God and just, just pray, just, Lord, like, help me do the best that I can, do, show my abilities, you know what I'm saying, and good things happen, and I feel like, that's just, that's just my philosophy, I feel like, just, I just pray for each part of the turn, pick off the turn, play, and I just, Take a deep breath, quick prayer, and then just go out and do what I can. In the third game, you know, over time, walk us through that thing a little bit, what you saw, how you came over from the second round. Well, I just had a simple, uh, shallow route. I saw the linebacker block, and I just saw space right there. So as soon as I passed the linebacker, I just looked, and I hope he saw me. And he hit me, and then I honestly didn't know if I got the first down or not, because I just got hit, turned, and I looked, and I was like, oh, she's not going to put down. So, <laughs> You've been used more as a kind of like a speed gadget guy throughout your career, but just how does it feel to get these opportunities now? You're lining up out wide, you're making these contested catches, moving the sticks. It's just, it's a dream come true, honestly. Since a kid, I've been wanting to play the highest level of football, and I feel like this is just the next level. And it's just a, it's just a great feeling to make it here. And I know I could have done it alone, obviously teammates, parents, and obviously uh, the Lord. So it's just a great feeling to be able to be on the field and do what my dream as a kid is. Was it difficult at any point this season to 
keep yourself mentally ready because you know you guys have been rotating wide receivers but it hasn't been as deep as they had talked about so it took you a while to get your shot i feel like i just had to stay just wait my opportunity that's just that's what i've done even in high school coming into college like i just waited my opportunity and i knew that my opportunity would come mm -hmm. and i just took the most advantage of it and yeah. that's just yeah